Questions for Dennis? Dennis, I know you got to have a state of mentality, but just walk us through sort of what's going on your head when AB goes down. You have to be talking. Yeah, you know, I got a lot of support from you know everyone on the team, and you got this, and uh, you know just stuff we've worked for since training camp and even beforehand. Um, so you know, going through my head, it was just you know just make the simple plays, just keep the ball moving, keep keep getting first downs. Uh, you know, I thought we did a pretty good job of that, and uh, you know I had trust in everyone else, and they all trusted me, so that's. That's how it works. And then after the first touchdown pass, AB's legs wrapped up, he's on crutches, he's on the sideline, he daps you up. Um, just describe that dynamic and sort of what the dialogue was like. Right, I mean, you know, we're super close, and he's a great guy. And, uh, you know, it's, it stinks to see him go down, but he was the one who, you know, didn't even want to go into the tent, didn't even want to go in the locker, wanted to stay out there and watch us play and watch, you know, watch, watch me do everything I could. Um, you know, I mean, I've been supporting him his entire career here. Um, you know, he got the opportunity to support me today, and he's, I mean, coming off the sideline, he's seen what I'm seeing, dialogue between us is everything that, um, you know, we, we want, what we're seeing, what we're getting, what looks good, what looks bad, it's pretty open, open communication, and super positive. Uh, you guys overcame a lot of adversity, you get down two touchdowns, come back, actually take the lead, had the lead there late in the game, especially when you came in, talk about that, I mean, I know there's no giving up, and, and you could have folded a couple of times. Uh, especially with the injury to him, you came in and kind of gave him a spark. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a tough team. We're a never say die team, and that's pretty evident by the way we play. I don't think there's any question about that. Um, and like I said, the, the support and the trust between the team is um, is super strong. And uh, it's, it's evident out there the way we play, the way we care for each other on and off the field, even in that locker room. It was, it was a special moment. Um, you know, not much to say, but just knowing that we all have each other's backs and that, um, you know, we're going to. Reset and go with the next one. Same mindset, not let this loss dictate the season. How difficult is it to lose a game like that at the end uh, when, you, when you look like you have it won and they go down and kick a long field goal? Uh, I know it's disappointing. Uh, can you kind of talk about that? And, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it doesn't feel good. It hurts, but um, um, you know, our mindset was score as many points as we can. And uh, you know, the defense did what they could. I respect them. But, and I'm just happy the way we played and battled and you know answered the call when we when our number was called. Regardless just, of the score. I was curious what the mentality was uh, in the locker room, you know, mid season, going into five week, you know, three and three, and not only are you trying to figure out, you know, where you go from here, but now we have like you don't know Anthony status, you don't know whether it would happen with this game next week, you know what I mean? Like still got some questions to answer on defense. You got a lot of season to go and a lot of room to work with, but also a lot of questions. Like just what how how's the locker room happening? Yeah, you know, I don't think anything changes. We still go at it with the same mindset, uh, the same attitude. Um, we got to work together, next man up mentality. I mean, nothing really changes. We lost two tough games back to back. Um, we have the opportunity to come off a bye or um, go into a bye week, um, just working even harder. I mean, I don't know. Nothing else changes. Same mindset, both sides of the ball. Just got to just go back to work. And I'm excited to go back to work and keep uh, getting, looking right for that fourth line. Yeah, let's take some more of that road that you all have lost. Uh, you know, it was a three-point game last week. That makes it even more difficult to understand. Your just just got to track along and go to the next one, I guess. That's all you can do. No other option. One more. Wait a minute. Can you walk us through? I was, what did you see on the third hour? Um, and then, obviously, after the ball started, you had to make a play and came through with the fourth, the eight-yard pass with the fourth and six. But uh, I mean, yeah. just trying to keep the drive line. Yeah, trying to get the dive drive line, knowing the time on the clock. Thought I could get the first down and just came up a little short. And then uh, the pass. Which one? The fourth down Yeah, just a play we've been working on for a while. Um, you know, had all the confidence in the play call, the receivers, and just execute. It's as simple as that. Did, did they start to get a little pressure on you later in the fourth quarter? or Because it, it, it looked like early they got none on you, and then it seemed like late they got a little bit more on you. Right, and obviously in the, the last couple of minutes of the game, it's a lot of passing situations, so they were. I mean, they knew that they could pin their ears back and go, but you know, I was comfortable back there. The line gave me enough time. Um, just ball didn't fall our way. Dennis, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.